Hello store owners, I hope you're doing great. Uh, in this week video, I want to show you um, a really interesting feature I saw on uh, on Shopify tutorial. So I'm going to base um, my tutorial all of, uh, out of uh, Shopify tutorial. I'm going to give you the link in the description. Um, this is their, 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 their page. So what we're trying to do is to achieve exactly this. And I, I implement it here on, on my website. So it's autocomplete for uh, for your search boxes on your store. Uh, I think this is a great, great feature to help your customer do the search. Uh, they can see an image, you have you you have the title, and it's gonna auto-suggest for whatever they uh, they're looking. Uh, let's try black, same thing, and you can see all the results. It's gonna take you back directly to the product. I think it's a great, great feature. So um, let's go ahead and work on this. So we need to go into the um, admin panel, go into online store, themes, and uh, choose whatever you want to, uh, to make the changes. Um, in my case, I'm gonna use my live uh, theme that I have because I do want to keep the, um, the, the, the change. If not, if you just wanna test it or, or for whatever reason, I would recommend you to uh, maybe duplicate it the live team you have now and work on a separate copy. Uh, but for myself, I'm just gonna work directly in uh, in my live copy. So um, go to edit HTML. We need to add a new template. So add it inside the templates. Just click on add a new template. We need to have it for our search and give it the name JSON. So let's create it. Um, so for this one, we're following um, Shopify tutorial. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you're gonna be able to follow everything there. Um, so what we need is over here our code to, to put inside a template. So just open this in the new tab. You can do select all and copy. Come back to your uh, Let's go back to the editor here. Select everything that you have inside your new template that you created and then uh, paste it. Save. And we have our new template where with the code that we need. So after we finish with the template, um, we need to create a snippet. So just click on the snippets, click add a new snippet and um, they call it, sorry, they call it search autocomplete. Um, so you can use the same name or you can use something different. I'm gonna just use exactly the same thing. Uh, let's call it as they did. And uh, take the code from here. Let's open it in a new window. Same thing, select everything and then copy. Go back to your editor paste it and save. Now, uh, what we need to do is to actually include it in our uh, template. So we're gonna include it inside the theme, which is your main file. Um, go at the bottom, as they recommended here, we're gonna need to include the snippet that we just created. So you can copy this, and we need to add it just before the closing body. Um, so if you go completely at the bottom, uh, you should have the closing body here. Um, sometimes you have different scripts, you have different coding there. For whatever reason, if you don't see it, you can always do command or control F to find it um, and look for uh, body. Like this, you will be able to find it. So just include it here and of course save it. Mm, this is okay. It's if you have some warning, just read them and then see if, if there's no issue with, with your current template, uh, current website. Um, so after we did this, we should be okay. Um, let's, uh, let's give it a try now. Let's go back over here. Let me refresh.
let's do hero hero plus lcd so the suggestion box is working uh, let's see um, uh, Yeah, this is the suggestion box is it's working. Uh, you do have some options if you want to um, to change the the, 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 the looks. Mm. I recommend you to go to the page uh, to the page itself and, uh, and and read on for the configuration, which is completely optional. Let me just see. Okay, so you can have this here. Let me see if it was already added. Yeah, you already have it at the top. So your options here, you can always modify them if you want. Uh, background, uh, maybe search a little bit on, on the web uh, for whatever reason. Um, I don't know, you will want to make it maybe a, a dark gray. You can just change it over there and it should be changed on the front page. So it did refresh there. Let me just see, hero. Yeah, so it doesn't look as good. Um, I'll suggest you to keep it as it is, um, but you do have the options to change it, um, to change it uh, right here on your search autocomplete. And uh, for the rest, take a look if you have any, uh, if you have some questions, maybe the FAQ will, uh, will, uh, will help you with that. Um, so that, that's it. This is a cool feature that I, that I found and it's easy to implement. Um, just follow my quick tutorial or even the, the, the Shopify tutorial. Uh, it's, 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 it's well made. It should be quick to do. Uh, just copy paste the code, add it, create your, your, your template and then the snippet and just include it in your, uh, in your team and you will be ready to go. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. You also have there my information, my email, Skype, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, everything is there. So don't be shy, ask me your questions. Also, um, please subscribe to the channel. I'm releasing videos like this one each week. So like that, you will be sure to not miss any of them. Also, uh, take a look. I have a how to class uh, for you to learn CSS and uh, learn how to design your, uh, your store. And uh, if you also need my help for a full website analyze, please uh, let me know. I offer this service. That's it again for this week. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next week.